Hi, my name is Dr. Jude Jepo, and um, today we are going to be looking at how to create um, uh, spectral blocks for use in the analysis of ferromagnetic data, especially for the spectral analysis. Now, what usually happens is that these blocks um, should be created in such a way that they should be overlapping. And um, I'm going to use ArcGIS for its visualization so that you see uh, what uh, we are looking at before you go ahead and um, and uh, and window these spectral blocks in the Oasis Montage software. But before then, we have to prepare an Excel table which we are going to use to create shape files. Now, I want to remind you that shape files also can be used to window this data, but there is a simpler way that I've shown in previous video how you can window this data. But the confusion is how do we create these spectral blocks? So in this video, we are going to show you how these spectral blocks are created. Now, I have done created for 15 spectral blocks already, but let me show you. This whole block is this way, such that this is the minimum longitude of your of the area that we're looking at, and this is the maximum longitude that we're looking at. All have to be in geographic coordinate system for this to work. And this for the Y, for the latitude, this is the maximum and this is the minimum. So all you have to do is to just arrange it this way. And um, we are going to be using this data to plot uh, the, the, uh, the shape file of the area so that we can have some visualization. Although I've done this previously, all these blocks were created as a result of the visualization I made here. Because these are, I divided it into 15 spectral blocks uh, having 30 minutes, um, 30 minutes interval for each of the of the spectral blocks. So what I did here is just to make those divisions. But you may not understand what was done here until I show you from the visualization what has been done. So we now go to take it to um, this arc map where we are going to look at how these things are done, how to create a particular shape file and, and other sub shape files that we're going to be using today. So all you need to do is to go to file and go to add data. Here you add X, Y data and then you click on this browse to take you to where you have uh, your data. In this case, I have my data here. You double click and this is the whole block. And this is what we are going to be seeing and using. In this case, if the, in the description panel here, you don't have a geographic coordinate system set, go to edit and choose a geographic coordinate system. That will be uh, uh, what you should do. And also note that this X should map to X, X field, Y should map to X, Y field. And once you have done that, you click on OK. So we'll see here that this is the way this thing is looking right now. All the four corners of the coordinates have been represented here. So what we're going to do is to go to our catalog here and go to where you have this. In this case, I, I have it here in this data tool. And here you right click, go to new and click on shape file. So for this shape file, we name it whole. That is the whole block where we are trying to visualize. And the feature type will have to be a polygon feature type. Now look at in this description, it says unknown coordinate system. Here you click on edit and assign this WGS84 uh, geographic coordinate system and click on OK. Now we have created a shape file, but we need to edit it for it to conform to these points. All you are going to do is to go to editor toolbar here. If you don't have it here, all you need to do is to click on any white space here, right click and um, go to make sure that this editor button is checked here. And then once it's checked, you come to editor and you start editing. Now what we are editing is the whole block. Click on this whole block and click OK. Now, when that is done, go over your cursor to around this place where you have these create features. Click on create features. Make sure that this is highlighted. And we are going to be doing a polygon construction here. 
so you click on polygon here so let's uh, dock this so what we are going to do is to go to this place once you have your snapping feature on if you don't have it on make sure that your snapping feature is on here because i have it on make sure that this snapping feature is on and um, all these are lighted you know so we go to this place um, to click on here click on this place once you have it highlighting you click on this place click here and double click here to actually end the the um, the, 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 the construction of the shape file so what we're going to do now is to go to editor and stop editing do you want to save your edits i'll click on yes so that does it now we can uncheck this button we'll see our whole block is highlighted but then let us make this hollow and just see so now this is the whole area under study so what we're going to do is for us to see how to actually create our spectral blocks we have to do a greeting here we do a new grid and make sure that our grid interval is 30 minutes like i said we have 30 minutes interval for our grid blocks in this particular case depending on what you are doing you may choose a particular um a particular interval for yourself so we go do this and we click on apply and click on ok now we have to be in this place sorry we have to be in this layout view for us to see the the grid that's been created as you can see it is not very informative because a lot of uh, information here is grayed out so we can click on this right click on this place go to properties go to properties here and um, make sure that our labels are big enough for us to visualize them so usually it takes a little time to load all right so let us use size 24 and make it bold in this case let us make the label orientation for the vertical axis to be left and right check the left and right button here or we'll click on apply uh, that seemed a little bit too big let us go back and edit that what we chose is a little bit too big for our need so let's go with um, something like 18 click on apply okay i think that is good enough so oh i see let's um, change this um, click on this place and let us use portrait a3 and that will be okay and let's here be 500,000 I think that's good enough okay let's go back here and uh, create our grid again new grid this we need them to be in 30 minutes interval 30 30 okay we apply we have to click on okay let's um, zoom to layer here so we have this here sorry there seemed to be a little error let's go back and um, check this where did we go wrong properties let's go to oh this is three here instead of 30 now we have seen our mistake and for the labels we needed our labels to be um 14 or 16 so let's choose in this case let's choose 14 let's make it bold let's uh, make the orientation of the vertical labels left and right to be oriented vertically okay and this does it and uh, this team not to be too clear so let's uh, make this a little bit bolder some of times you have to try a number of times to actually get to see what you need to do so since this looking a little bit small let's take it up to 20 and apply and let's see how that feels okay 
that's good enough so as you can see here we have six blocks here uh, of uh, 30 30 minutes interval but like i said we need to make sure that um our um I'm, I'm zooming in now so that you can see so we need to make sure that whatever we are having here because this is the limits of our study area 9 30 4 30 so if we take this a little bit let's make it bigger thicker rather so that we'll see what we'll look at the extent the limit of what um, the area that we're looking at so as you can see it is six six here so the plan is to make sure that we have we 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 subdivide these blocks in such a way that they will be overlapping so even if we have something like this as a first block we can have another here as a second block and we can have this other one as a third block so we have maybe another one as a fourth block here fifth block and the rest of them so once we have seen this we can see that between here and here 4 30 and 5 we can have a block that we start from the middle here which is 4 45 and goes through uh, 5 15 here which still retains the 30 30 so in each of these places we're having one two three and uh, we can see that at the end of the day, once we do our subdivisions very, very well, we'll have the overlapping blocks. So now for us to visualize this, let's see, I've created this uh, table already where I have some of this thing done. So if I click on this place and click on maybe, let's start with block 15 that I created, we have to add points. In order for us to see this you can go to this place and uh, display xy data this is another form of displaying xy data you click ok so now we have this although not very visible here let us make this circle black and let us give it something like 30 points so that we will see it now okay uh, let's make it red so that it can still be very visible here so you see this is our block 15 here and let us continue to add more blocks so we can use add data add xy data you browse here we'll uh, click on uh, block 14 and see so block 14 is here already let us make it um, very bold let's give it 30 points and uh, let's choose a color that will be bright enough um, okay let's choose pink okay so you can see that this particular block now is overlapping with this let's continue to add another block so you continue this process until you have all your blocks in place okay let's add uh, block 13 like i said this is another way you go to uh, display XY data here and you click on OK block 13 let's make it uh, bold and let's give it 30 let's choose another bright color maybe yellow this time and 30 so so you see we have this other block here and if we put up this, if we check this off and check this off, we can see where our block is. And um, so, uh, okay, this is for the 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 main block. Sorry, let's uh, check this block thirteen. Let's make it big thirty and um, give it um, this okay maybe dark navy blue color so we can now see this is our 13 this is our 14 and this is our 15 so in this case we can see the overlaps that this thing is making for example the, this is 15 and then um, and we can see this other one here 13 
and we can see this other one overlapping on it 14 so at each case you see some overlaps like i said there is no hard and fast rule about it depending on what you want and depending on how you want to create it the essence is for you to have these overlapping blocks to use and once you have done this you can add several of these blocks and that is what you are going to be using to do any windowing that you want to do in your oasis montage and if you check the video where we did it you will see all you need to do now is to open this thing for example for block 13 and see the attributes table for here you will now see once you are using it in that oasis montage that the maximum x uh, value will be 5 the minimum x value will be 4.5 while the maximum value for the y will be 8.5 and the z will be 8 so i guess that does it and if you want to create shape files of this you take the same process all you need to do is to go to your catalog go to where you need it and um, click on new shape file once you have done that you give it a name you edit your shape file and you edit it using these uh, points that we created here i hope this video will help you to make such decisions and help you to create um, windows that you can use for your spectral analysis. Thank you very much.